Hey guys, it's Riley or else stuff good over on Instagram and Poshmark and the sun is right in my face. And today I'm here with a bins haul and there's a lot of planes outside so I'm sorry I can't pause every time there's a plane because there's just so many. So the reason I'm filming outside is because today was a bins day and I'm filming this as I get back from the bins and it is like six o'clock and it's just too dark to film inside and I feel like if I don't film this right now I'm not gonna get it done. If you don't know who I am, I'm a no barking. If you don't know who I am, I'm a full-time reseller over at Poshmark. That is how I make my living to support me and my dog. My dog and I. My dog, Olive, who, oh, I'm have you propped up on boots. Who's sniffing the merchandise? How is it, Olive? Good stuff today? Good stuff? Let's get into the haul. I don't know yet how much I paid per item. First, because they're in with this bag, I'm going to show you three items I thrifted, two of which are for myself. So, um... I found these Ugg slip. I'm like, this is not worth it. I found these Ugg slippers for myself. They were priced way too high to resell. They were like 17, 16, I, mean, I think $17 a pair. But I like saw these at Play-Doh's one time and passed them in my size and really regretted it. And so I found them in yellow which is the color i wanted and then i also found them in purple and so since they were almost 20 dollars, maybe i shouldn't have picked them up like because i don't need to and i already have slippers i like plus the concept of these doesn't make sense to me my feet get cold i don't want my toes poking out but that doesn't mean i didn't want them because i bought them so i spent 40 dollars on these at the thrift store of course but they're for me so i would not have paid that to resell maybe 10 dollars, depending i would check comps Anyway, if you do find these cheaper, they're worth picking up. And then these were the th full price thrift find to resell, but they were actually half off. They're a pair of Zara woven sandals. So hopefully I can get these up fast enough in time for summer. And hopefully I paid like $5, $5.50, but hopefully they'll sell in time for summer. Another plate, but now the bin stuff. This day, I usually get really good shoes whenever I go to the bins, but shoes was actually probably the worst it's ever been. I still found some, but it was definitely a bummer, which is fine. I didn't need a bunch of shoes, so I'm actually gl glad it worked out this way. Clothes were better than shoes. And so I have mostly clothes to share with you today. And it's all like pretty much bread and butter stuff. My sister went with me and I think she found this. Uh, J. Crew Sparkly Sweater. I would think I could get around $20 for this, maybe 18 to like 22 in the right season. It is a wool mohair acrylic blend and I'm, it's from 2012, that's funny. I mean, that's the tag. Not that you need to see J. Crew, But uh, I do think it will sell, especially like probably more in the holiday season. I'm trying to get summer stuff listed right now. So I'm just putting my uh, sweaters and stuff aside. Oh, I got this for buy, sell, trade. Um, I don't know if Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange will accept it, which is where I've been taking my buy, sell, trade stuff. Uh, because it's Shein. Not that you need to see the Shein tag, but I know Play-Doh's will. Also, I thought it was cute. Maybe I'll try it on. I don't know, but it didn't get thrown out because I bought it. Actually, that would be a cute outfit. I will try this on actually first. So here's another boring find. Um, this is just kids, Cat and Jack, and this is for it's sparkly. This is for buy, sell, trade. I was thinking about doing a garage sale, but that will just be too much work, so I think I'm just gonna go I'm like a terrible angle. Um, I think I'm just gonna take uh, this to buy, sell, trade because I have some stuff I need to sell. Oh, okay. This I could list. I'm not going to. It is Baby Gap. Not that you need to see a Baby Gap tag. Even like if you can't, this was probably a bad idea to film like this. But it's like a little corduroy jacket. Uh, super cute. I saw maybe of, like uh, five kids items a month. A lot of it is shoes. So I don't have a problem selling sh shoes, kids shoes, but kids clothes tend to sit for me also i just found out my cousin is pregnant she's not going to find out the gender of the child she's having so i can't like set aside boy or girl clothes for her really but i'll probably talk to her maybe around christmas time and see if she wants to go through kids stuff i have oh <laughs> another kids item i really i like to grab kids items in the bins because uh, when no one else is grabbing them it makes me feel like i'm saving them from being thrown out so this is just a nike t for I'm gonna put it in buy, sell, trade. Should I angle this higher? I kind of liked the previous angle better, but at least um, my head will probably get cut off less. So um, this will probably just go to, um, when I say buy, sell, trade for kids, I'm like once upon a child. So it's really just like a few cents, but it didn't get thrown out. My sister found this. I have no idea what it is. 
uh, Lady Alamo San Francisco. So there's the logo. I just thought it was cute. And uh, there's like a stain up here, but I will sell it anyway. It's a backpack. And if it's not worth anything at all, well, first actually I'll probably offer it to my mom. It seems like something she'd like, but if it is worth like a bunch, she's not getting it. <laughs> but it will either be listed or given to my mom. I didn't even check the interior for uh, condition. When I go to this location, my cost usually averages out to about $1.50 or $1.80 per piece. So that's kind of the, uh, you can kind of get an idea what I paid for a piece that I'm listing on Poshmark. Okay, my sister also found these. Uh, she might have found better stuff today than I did. Um, she found these Eloquy pants, which they originally wanted $8 for, which I honestly would have considered paying and I'm <laughs> totally would have picked them up half off. Uh, Eloquy doesn't sell for a lot, but it does move. I mean, it's a plus size brand. And I'll have stop. I'll usually price it like, these will probably get priced at like $28 and I hope to sell them for 20. Depending of course on style and comps, but and they're also a more fall piece. These can go in my fall pile. Kids, old navy shorts, buy, sell, trade. This, oh, okay, this is actually a cool find. Uh, I don't know if I've ever found this or I've only sold it once and it actually didn't have a price on it. Um, it is Icebreaker and it's stained, but this is a base layer. So I figured, Someone would still want it um, as a base layer, even for like 15 or 20 bucks. Here's the stain. It's like right in front. If this was not, you can't even really see it. If it was not a base layer, you can cut there. You can kind of see it. I would not have picked it up, but it's a um, New Zealand Murano wool base layer. So I figured I can still get 15 to $20 for this with the flaw. These, um, honestly, I might take these to buy, sell, trade before I sell them. They're just a Victoria's Secret and I don't, this isn't really a vintage tag. It's pink. Um, so they're just pajama bottoms and, oh dang it, there's a hole. <laughs> okay, these are uh, textile recycled because it's not something I think I can repair. It looks like it got sliced with something because it goes through to both sides. So, oh, it's also kind of stained. Okay, that's a bummer. That's what happens when you uh, don't fully check over everything. Textile recycle bees. Okay, this is adorable baby gap swimsuit. Again, not that you need to see the tag. I'm gonna not show you all the tags for the kids stuff. That will just go to buy, sell, trade. Okay, so the rest of this bag is some shoes. So I'm gonna show you some shoes. Um, I actually have these listed right now with not a lot of interest, but I realized I had them listed in the wrong size. So I'm gonna list some, not these, I mean like not this exact pair, but the same style. Uh, I need to relist them. So I'll relist them for fall. I didn't tell you what they are. They are Echo Boots. I don't have a whole lot of luck with this brand, but they retail so high, it can't leave it behind at the bins, especially knowing that if I sit on them forever, I can take them to buy, sell, trade. Stop being annoying. The toes need some love, but I'll just throw some conditioner on her and make them look a little bit better. Uh, I would love to get $40 for these, but I would move them anywhere north of $20 if they sit forever. Okay, this is not a high ticket item, but it does sell for me. It's BOC, which is a like diffusion line of Born, which Born I also sell. However, BOC usually I feel like is made with cheaper materials, but this is a really nice leather. So I was so happy. The problem today is every shoe I was finding I wanted did not have a match. Like it was really bad singles today. Luckily, I found one and I was like, I'm never gonna find the match. I threw it back and like a minute later, I found the match, so I went back for it. They're in pretty good condition. Um, they're size 11, which is nice too, yeah. I would think I could get about $20 for these. Um, my sister found these and they're so freaking adorable. They're a little bit dirty, but that's okay. They're Garnet Hill, which is a catalog brand. It does kids and women's, which it's expensive, but the women's doesn't do that well for me. However, when it's cheap, I have a hard time leaving it behind. I think these will do well. Um, they're a kid's little unicorn slipper and I'm assuming they're, they're wool. Yeah, they're 100% uh, wool. So. I don't know what comps would be on these, but I would expect to be able to profit at least $10. I say it in every video, so if you're not new here, you know Steve Madden is my bread and butter shoe brand. I love to sell it, and <laughs> I know there are people who don't like Steve Madden and feel like they can't sell it. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I sell it a lot. These are in great shape for being at the bins. Like, 
maybe you weren't oh they're from last chance that's so funny so if you don't know i'm in the chicago area and we have a last chance and i can tell that's a last chance sticker but i grabbed them at the bins that does happen sometimes while thrifting i find stuff from last chance so um it looks like maybe someone wore these ones for an event and if you didn't know steve madden does put the uh, style name in the interior i don't know if i've ever shared that before oh dang it <laughs> so right here pretty much every shoe will have a style name this is the frame shoe then super easy to find if they're a more recent pair well first comps and then second um i don't use stock photos for shoes but like 99 percent of the time but then you can find the information in retail price and just get you know more people more eyes on it so these i would think uh 25 to 30 I grabbed these Uggs, they're not in great shape. They could use a cleanup and I have like 10 pairs of Uggs I need to clean. So maybe that's something I'll prepare like in September. I think I could get them, I think I could sell them like 20 in this condition. Like they're not in bad shape. It's just like this toe has some wear. So I think, I think I could get about 20 to 25 for these, maybe even like under 30, but I'm hoping 25. I have not seen this style before. I found some Supergas, and the Superga was also a single that I found later, the match. And I did find another Superga that was a single as well, so that was a bummer because I had to leave that one behind. But these ones are matched. There's a spot right there, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> I'll just sell them for a little less. I don't know how much Supergas are selling for. I used to sell them a lot, or maybe not a lot, but like somewhat frequently. I would think that with the, like a little bit of dirt on them i could get about 20 dollars for these these are for buy sell trade i just couldn't leave them their kids cat and jack sandals in good condition so they didn't get thrown out i grabbed them i also grabbed these and maybe i shouldn't have um they're not the cutest but this is i think a newer oh dang it the rubber bands <laughs> this is a newer logo of kelvin klein so i grabbed these like kelvin klein croc mule wedge sandal wedge sandals um oh dang it i didn't notice this okay i'll still like i still sell flawed shoes all the time but this heel is worn down a little bit to like the interior i'll disclose it and hopefully sell these for 15 dollars with the wear without the wear i'd probably get like 20 to 22 dollars for these okay i grabbed these hopefully there's nothing wrong with them i did check them over but it is kind of dark in the bins and okay there's a spot on the toe but i don't care <laughs> like shoes get dirty so these are a nice pair of vans um i'm assuming they're men's yeah 10 men's they're like a new buck leather van so that's nice i don't know comps on these i would hope 25 to 30. kids natives um the sparkly ones are uh i've sold two pair of these from the bins before so uh if you're curious natives there the sparkles are rubbing off still sell um so these ones i'll take a magic eraser to the toe and that will make them look nicer they are missing a little bit of the sparkle but they still sell i think i just sold a pair last week for like 15 dollars. the pair of steve madden a little more basic but you know basic still sells uh black suede heel these are great i um these are great for special occasion these are the carson so again the style name is just right there with the size info and I put that into Google and pull up all the information about the shoe. So these ones, I mean, they're still in good shape. They're not perfect. I think I could get 20 to 25 for these. Okay, these are Little Kids LL Bean shoes. My sister found these. They do have some wear on the toe, but it's not like, it's cosmetic. So I still sell shoes with that cosmetic wear. I think I've sold a pair of LL Bean boots for like $25 before. So maybe for these, I could get like 15 or 16. Again, kid shoes are not kid shoes are not big profits for me but i do frequently sell kid shoes on poshmark and sometimes on kid is in i feel like i sell more clothes on kid is in like kids clothes i don't do adult clothes on kid is in oh they're another pair of vans <laughs> um okay so another style i have not sold before i mean i've sold high top and low but this one has like just a little different it doesn't really have the stripe on the side they're really clean. That's when I grabbed them. I was like, oh, thank God I do not have to take a magic eraser to the side. Because if you know, when you do like Converse and Vans, the magic eraser crumbles. It's crazy. Um, So these ones, I would again think 20 to 25 on these Vans. They are nice and clean. I love that. And then my sister found these Sperry duck boots. And I don't think these are as sought after as they used to be, but these are in great condition. They're size eight and a half. Oh my gosh, my mom might want these. Although I just gave her a pair of L.O. Bean ones a few months ago. Honestly, I think I'd rather have the L.O. Bean ones back and sell, and she can have these, but 
Um, I think these are like the classic style. I think there's always going to be a market for the classic duck boot. I think the the ones with the patterns, like when they get a little more um, creative, might be harder to sell with duck boots being less in style. But the green and the blue and black and leather, yeah, brown leather, all of that I think still sells. And they're in excellent condition. I'm so glad my sister found these. I sell these in bad condition still, like where the bottom is like, I have sold a pair a few months ago with the heel worn out um, for like 14 bucks <laughs> and they weren't even a good color. So I'm hoping I can get about 30 for these. Uh, I would take north of 20. I think this is the end of my shoes uh, unless, oh no, I have another box, okay. So I mean, this is a bad shoe day for me, which is probably a good shoe day for a lot of people. So. Um, I made a reel about this and actually posted it already today about, um, at my bin, sometimes there are boutique shoes. Like, I don't know if a boutique or it's like wholesale something, they get like a surplus of boutique brand of shoes. So these are Cupid. So if you, there's not on the bottom or else I'll show you. So Cupid is a boutique brand of shoes. I don't really sell Cupid. Uh, it doesn't really have a resale value. Um, I was checked couple months ago for a pair of flats I grabbed at the bins and it was like maybe I could sell them for 10 to 12 dollars because these are boots I think I could sell them 18 and up which is fine for me for bins pricing but I might uh, if you're wondering I have both boots the camera you are just currently propped up on them so I think I could sell these if I wanted to for close to 20 dollars if not I think I'll take them to buy sell trade I haven't decided and I also grabbed these two pairs I think the style is fun I honestly kind of wish I grabbed some more of these to take to buy sell trade for fall because there were probably at least 10 pair of these um but I grabbed these ones in a seven and a half and these ones also in a seven and a half <laughs> I didn't realize that. These would be a fun Taylor Swift concert boot, but I feel like I'm kind of getting out of that time zone. Like, how many concerts does she have left? Maybe I'll check and see if I can get them listed in time for that. If not, buy, still trade. So, that was my Cupid shoe section, I guess. There is more shoes, but I'm just going to do the small bag of stuff first. Okay, so this is adorable Old Navy. I found this right as I was leaving. Um, bear fuzzy jacket. I love it. Couldn't leave it. Uh, there's fabric stuck to it. We love that. Kids consignment pile because I don't know. I don't have information about my cousin's baby. Also, kids. This is um, Gap Kids. It's a little dirty from being in the bin, but otherwise in good condition. I would sell the kids clothes if I could get them to move on Poshmark, but they just sit forever. <laughs> and as I say that, I pull out a pair of kids cracks that Oh my god, my neighbor's outside. Embarrassing. Um, okay, so I grabbed these kids' Crocs, which I just sold on Poshmark. Uh, the last time I went to the bins, I think I grabbed them. These ones have a little more wear, and they have gibbets on them that I'm not going to take off. Someone else can do that if they want. But I just sold them, so I was like, okay, I'll grab them again and sell them again. Um, these ones, just because not as good condition, I think maybe 11 or $12, which is not, you know, the big profits, but they're, they sell for me within a couple weeks, and so I'll take the $5 profit. It is a Polly Pocket holder. Um, it's a little dirty right here, but that's okay. And I literally had this exact same one. I'm pretty sure she looked, and it was from 2005. It was $4 at the thrift store. I might have paid that. Um, at 2004. It's before my youngest sister was born. So it is a Polly Pocket holder. Um, honestly, <laughs> I want to keep it from nostalgia, but I don't have the space. And I'm a collector at heart, and I do not need to be collecting more things. So I just, oh my god, I love it. Okay, I grabbed these J. Crew Factory bikini bottoms. Oh, it looks like there was, it was a set originally. Oh, dang it. Okay, so there's a park behind my house, and... Now there's a family back there, literally about like 200 feet away. So sorry if you hear that. Um, it looks like this originally had a top match, but that got lost in the bins, so bummer. And the most important thing with swimsuits, bottoms, and one pieces is to check the crotch. So we got a nice clean crotch. These are from spring 2018. These are not gonna be big bucks, especially because they're factory, but I think I can sell them for $12 and they're basically free at the bins is the way i'm thinking of it i got this for myself so i mean i probably wouldn't have bought this if my sister wasn't with me but it's a brookfield zoo visor um it's like our local chicago like big exotic animal zoo i can't whatever so i've never actually had a visor oh my god i kind of love it though i'm taking this on vacation because i can wear my hair in a ponytail i mean this isn't per the perfect vibe but 
I love it. <laughs> this is going on vacation. So that's for me, um, score. I grabbed this, why? Uh, because it's basically free. Literally, I don't think if I just went up to the cash register and asked them to ring it up, they would give it to me for free. It might be weird because it's a hair thing, but I think I'll include it with like a cute little, oops, gift with purchase. I do that sometimes, usually Ipsy bags, but I didn't find any Ipsy bags today. Um, and if a person thinks it's gross, they can throw it out. <laughs> but you know, I attempted to save it and give it a life. And I mean, I obviously like to wear scrunchies, but I don't really want a velvet scrunchie. So back to shoes. These oh, were Jeffrey Campbell and I was kind of on the fence, but like literally I'm at the bins and they're not in bad condition. They're like a medium old label. It's not like the newest, dang it. Okay, you can't really see well. It's not the newest label and it's also not the oldest. I would say these are probably five years old. Um, they just seem more dated than that to me. They honestly seem maybe like more 2014, 2015, but Jeffrey Campbell at the bins, they're good condition. I figured if I could sell them, honestly, if I could sell them for $18, I'd be happy. But if I sold them for $22, I'd be super happy. And they didn't go in the landfill. That should just be like my trademark, my my logo. Oh my God, the woman is standing really close to my, my backyard and it's making me nervous. Okay, I think my sister found these. Like I pulled them out of the bin right in front of her, but I think she said she found them and put them there. <laughs> so they're fit flops. Um, I usually come across like one pair of fit flops in the bins. I think they could be cleaned up a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'll feel like doing that. It depends. I feel like fit flop used to sell better. I feel like I sit on it longer and it doesn't sell for as much, but I think with summer, if I get these listed fast, I could get between 20 and 25 for them. They're not really dirty. They just have like a color that looks dingy really easily. This is actually a bigger haul than I thought it was. My sister found these baby Keens and I can't say no to baby Keens. Although I will say I've been sitting on my Keen sandals and I don't know why. Maybe I should relist them all for summer, but like usually they'll sell you, they used to sell you around for me. Anyway, these ones are really nice, good condition. I figured these, these will probably sell for $15. I told my sister to throw these back and she forgot. So now I have to sell them. I mean, I guess I could take them to buy, sell trade in the fall, but I, they're vintage leather boots and like they're good condition and it's nice that they're um, vintage. I just, there's not a brand in them. Oh, maybe there is like, okay, that I might do some research, but honestly, I didn't really feel like doing research. So I was like, now you can just throw them back. So now I have them, I'll do some research and decide whether I want to sell them or take them to buy, sell, trade. Either way, they're probably not going to sell in the summer. Okay, this is a good brand to know. I do often come across it in the bins. It is Corky's. These are in the best condition, but they do still sell in okay condition. Uh, I will put some leather conditioner on them, but I mean, it's like, it's kind of weird. This is um, a suede footbed, and I don't think I've seen them with a suede footbed before. Um, just because they're not in perfect condition, I would think I could get about $20 for them. Oh, by the way, I think my sister found all of these. I think she found these while I was going through clothes. So the rest of these are my sister's finds. Um, now I'm looking at these closer. These are not in as good of condition as I thought they were. They're Merrell's. Um, Merrell sells, not for much, like shoes like this. If they're in good condition, I would be like 20 to $25. Uh, I'm looking like at this now and there's just some slight cracking at the toe, which I would consider cosmetic wear. Like it's not gonna, your toe's not gonna poke through. But um, because of that, I'm probably gonna list them lower. I just hope to move them between 18 and $20, which I know that's like a small window. It's just how my brain works. I'm like, okay, these will probably sell for 18 and 20. They could sell for less or they could sell for more. These were awesome. My sister found these Birkenstocks and I'm surprised on such a bad shoe day that she found these. At first I was hoping they would be for me because I looked at them and I could tell they were small and they looked like my size. I wear like a 36 in Birkenstocks and these are actually a 35. So I think I'm gonna have to sell these. No, they don't fit. <laughs> I have like a long second toe and it doesn't, that's a weird thing to say on the internet, but they don't work for me. So these will be sold. They're not in great condition. I mean, Burke sell in pretty bad condition though. So this is not bad. Like I've bought a pair of Burks in really bad condition on Poshmark for $30 and kind of regretted it, but as <laughs> they were in described condition. So these, I honestly, I think I could get at least 34. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't have bought these because I think I have a pair of these in my death pile. And also they're just not the trendiest, but like when I'm at the bins, and I'm like, I'm gonna save these from the landfill, my logo, my lingo, that's what I meant, and pay, my lingo, I don't know, and pay under $2, I'll grab them. They're Tom's, they're seven and a half. They're like a olive green perforated suede booty with a peep toe. 
uh, $20 and I'd be happy. I would move them for less because I don't like selling Tom, so why did I get them? My sister's second Sperry find of the day and Sperry duck boots. Uh, by the way, I don't really pick up Sperry boat shoes. Maybe if they were really good condition men's, but the women's ones just aren't as desirable anymore. Um, but the boat shoes, not the, the duck boots and other like more trendier things I would consider, especially at the bins, but the boat shoes even at the bins really aren't worth it. Um, so these are a woman's nine and I don't know how old these are. They're in really good condition too. I wonder if they were donated by the same person as the other ones. They're slightly different style, but I would hope, like these ones I think I could get 30 to 35 for just because they're slightly more unique. <laughs> as I was saying earlier, like you don't want the unique ones. But these are unique classic, you know, like the navy blue and the brown. I think they'll do well. Okay, I probably shouldn't have grabbed these because of condition, but I didn't want to leave them behind, so I grabbed them. They're Saucony, Saucony, I don't know exactly how to pronounce the brand name. That's it. Um, kids shoes, they are just dirty, like, there's nothing wrong with them, they're just a little dingy. But I figured, so lightweight, like, do these weigh a pound? No. No, no, these could ship first class very easily. I think I could sell them for like $12. And I saved them from the landfill. Also not in great condition, but these I think would sell in most conditions, kind of like bogs. Bogs sell in pretty much any condition. And now I'm realizing I did not find a pair of bogs. I usually always leave with a pair of bogs. Um, they are Hunter rain boots. And um, there's nothing wrong with them. Like that's the thing. If there was like, if the sole, like if these, the heel was completely worn down or like there's a hole in the sole, I wouldn't grab them. These just have cosmetic wear and I think parents don't necessarily care about cosmetic wear on kids' rain boots especially. And I actually did find another pair of hunter boots that were adult and I left them because they were just so worn. Like if I wanted them for myself, I would have purchased them, but they were just so worn out that I could not, like I did not feel like I wanted to sell them. So these $15. That is it for the shoes, but we're not done. This is going, I honestly thought this was gonna be like 30 minute haul tops, but we have a whole nother pile of clothes to get through. So I'm gonna grab that. Okay, so these are like all of my clothing finds. A lot of what we saw was my sister's. And like when she was going through the shoes, this is what I was finding. Oh, and as I say that, this she found this and it's probably one of the better finds of the day. It's J. Crew, and it's a size 12. I'm a little surprised she didn't want this. That's the tag. They used this tag for so long. This would honestly be from any time. I would guess around 2015, 2016. Okay, so, I mean, J. Crew is just... I looked. I've sold a decent amount of J. Crew this year. And a lot of pieces aren't high dollar pieces. But if you get them at the bins for, like, this under $2... I could probably move this relatively quickly for $20. Next, I probably shouldn't have grabbed this, but it was in good condition, so I did. It's a Nike Thermofit shirt, and I don't sell a whole lot of Nike, especially the basics. It just, I feel like it doesn't sell for me, even the shoes. Sorry, the light is kind of messing up the color. You know what? I might offer this to my friend, Erin. This is like her favorite color, and she's a runner, and so actually, I'm gonna offer this to Erin first, and if she doesn't want it, then maybe I'll sell it for like $12 which is honestly probably just like breaking even with the cost of my time, but whatever. And the, I was happy to find this. This is a J. Crew rash guard for women. Like, I mean, I'd be happy if it were kids. I would probably sell it if it were kids because I think that would sell, but this is a women's. Um, it's kind of rubbing out. So yeah, the size is just kind of gone. So I have to measure, maybe it says it in here. Summer 2014, it's older. Oh, it's a small, cool. I don't have to measure. I mean, I'll measure it anyway, but I measure all my listings. So this, I think I could honestly sell. It's factory, but I think I could get 18 to $20 for this. And sticking with J. Crew, um, a blazer. I was so surprised that, first of all, I would have considered getting this for $10 at the thrift store, which is what they had priced at. I would have picked it up half off, but I got it at the bins. And is it a schoolboy blazer? It doesn't say. It is from 2017. I thought it would be older. It is a wool blend. Two button. I checked, both buttons are there. Can't even see and the sleeves are there, it's in great condition. I've sold these stained and I've sold them with holes in this color, people like these blazers. I haven't sold one in probably at least a year, so I'll have to check comps. Uh, what is this? I don't remember. <laughs> Another J. Crew piece. Okay, I, I really think this is the end of my J. Crew. Um, this is something I probably would have left behind in the past. Oh, and it's an extra small petite, but this is a slightly newer J. Crew piece. You know what? I'm taking, I'm gonna try out a new adult, like mature women's, not like Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange, more like a clothes mentor, but 
in another town I've never been to. I'm gonna take them some stuff, summer 2019. So this might be something that goes there because this is not gonna sell for a lot, but again, if I priced it like right, I would be fine selling it for $12. I know a lot of people don't like those smaller dollar sales, but I've been making like a few like pretty good sales a day and a lot of smaller dollar ones recently, and it's working out for me. We don't know what's happening with the economy. So I'll just do everything. I'll do small and large and medium. Uh, this is Men's Banana Republic, which I don't find a lot of men's stuff. Originally $5, it's not even a bad price. Pima Cotton. When I went to Crossroads, I was looking through and they actually had a decent amount of Banana Republic stuff for men. Um, they didn't have a lot of inventory, so I don't usually wander. I sell men's clothes, but I don't usually wander into the men's section to see what they're buying. And I was surprised to see how much Banana Republic they're buying. However, I think I will still list this myself. This is like another J. Crew thing, but it's not J. Crew. Do you have a guess what it is? And it's an extra extra small. <laughs> this definitely was maybe all one person stuff. Okay, this is Point Sir. Originally, oh, they had this priced at. Oh, I can't even read that price tag, so I wouldn't even try it. It looks like $3.99, but who knows? Point Sir. Extra extra small. I thought it was cute. I don't know if they still sell points or if that was just like a short term thing for a while people are saying it was doing good i haven't sold it in years oh and awesome someone cut the style and date tag out of it like that's really rude they left all the other tags but not the one that i need i'm assuming this is a couple years old maybe like four years maybe 2020 i don't know um i think this will sell on poshmark this is more of a fall piece i think i could get around 20 maybe my sister found this and i was like probably shouldn't have bought it but it's linen and it's anthropology and i was like okay there's two you know uh factor stacking things for you it's not cute though in my opinion it's kind of i would guess this is from like 2012 so yeah i shouldn't have bought this <laughs> it's hard at the bin sometimes uh maybe i mean i'm assuming it's super oversaturated not very desirable again i could take it to an, a more mature woman's consignment and this is size zero i really uh failed here i might oh and it's missing a belt I sell stuff missing. That's not a deal breaker for me though, but it has pockets, so we got a plus one. Um, so tell me, would you have picked this up at the bins? I'm guessing not, because you're a better reseller than I am. Okay, I grabbed this and I think I'm gonna give it to my mom. If not, it's not really resale value on this. So it is Columbia. She said she needs new workout clothes. I don't know if she'd work out in this or just wear it to like around the house or to bed, but it's cute. It says uh, National Park. Honestly, I think a buy, sell, trade store would take this just because it's cute. It's I could list it and take it corp core, but I think my mom will want it. If she doesn't want it, I'll find something to do with it. This is for um, women's consignment. It's loft, it's a loft tank top. And I can't move these to save my life. Like I've had the cutest, sometimes loft sells for me. It's weird. Sometimes it will sell and kind of quick, but I never know what piece. And I've had an adorable newer, newer tags, loft jumpsuit no like i get likes but nobody wants it and i've sent pretty good offers on it like 20 dollars. maybe i should go lower but <laughs> i know that i cannot sell a loft tank top i'll probably take me three years to sell this for ten dollars so it didn't go into the landfill but it will go to a women's consignment so this is made well and i'm assuming it was new with tags because it still has the barb on there but the tag fell off it is an extra extra small, which is a slightly a bummer because made well, it's just so sad. Like when I was reselling, like first started in 2015, I remember I found a made well thing and it sold so fast because I underpriced it for like $27 or something. And it was just like a made well shirt. And now I'm like, I don't think I want to sell this. I think I'll take it to buy, sell, trade. Um, when's it from? Any guesses? Fall 2017. So... <sighs> It's weird because it's summer, but it's also kind of like a fall, winter, or fall colors. So I'll throw it in my buy sell trade pile, but I don't know if they'll take it. So the clothes at this location usually aren't good. So I was, I'm was i pretty happy with all the stuff I found today, even though it's really bread and butter, especially because the shoes weren't banging. Do people say that? Uh, Athleta. Size extra small. A lot of small sizes. I wonder if all this extra small is the same person. Uh, kind of similar brands. Okay, so tie-dye, Athleta. I'm assuming this won't go for a lot. Like, I would have picked it up half off because it would have been $2.50. Um, $5, honestly, it's kind of pushing it. Don't you love it when it says 98% cotton, 2% other fiber? I would love to know what the other fiber is. This is from Summer 21, so it's not too old. 
oh that's like when tie-dye was popping right <laughs> okay so um i think if it's oversaturated i could sell it for 18 if it's not oversaturated i could sell it for 22 pretty quickly maybe not athlete is so weird i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i just knew i couldn't leave it it is gap fit and i think i might list this just because it's so adorable it's like a crop sherpa jacket they wanted nine dollars for it i might have considered picking it up half price probably not because it's gap it is a large petite so the petite is a little strange maybe that's it's not actually cropped so maybe i can tag it as cropped and then listen as petite i don't know it's cute oh they cut out the style info i mean i could take it to buy sell trade as well but i think i kind of want to list it Okay, so this is Vineyard Vines. I haven't found Vineyard Vines in a while, I feel like, in men's. Um, oh my God, they wanted $13 for this. I wouldn't have picked that up even half price. This is a bins pickup only. Um, I'm not seeing a whale logo on here. Maybe that's why no one wanted it. It is a bigger size though, that's nice. It is a large. So I think I sold one of these like maybe six months ago relatively like men's fast like in a couple weeks for $19 or something so hopefully I can get around that okay so this is my new bucket hat um I don't know what happened to my old bucket hat but I miss it so I got this one it seems like really good quality I think it's like one of those I don't know where it's from do you know where this place is so I got a visor and a bucket hat. It feels like, you know, one of those beach town vacation kind of hats. Like the quality is good though. So I didn't care. I wanted a new bucket hat and I found one. It's a size large, awesome. I guess it fits me pretty well. Cool. Should I finish the haul? No. Yes. No, it's too hot. Another kid's consignment, buy, sell, trade, once upon a child, whatever. Cat and Jack, girls, leggings. Oh dang, I didn't notice there's some pilling in the booty, but I might still take those because the print, like the heart metallic is not worn. Another pair of kids clothes. Oh, these ones I think I'm gonna list myself though. Cause they're Abercrombie kids, Stingray, swim trunks. So I think if I can get these listed in the next week, I think, I think, I think I can sell these for like 12 to $14. They are American Eagle jeans. They are the Tom mom, <laughs> the mom jean. They are size two extra short, which you know um, is not awesome. But I think the style is good enough that I'll list them. Although I would love to know, is this? I feel like this distressing is intentional. That seems too manufactured to not be. They are from 2020. Um, I usually price my American Eagle jeans at $24, and then send like $19 offers on them and it works. Uh, a lot of my skinny jeans have been sitting, no surprise, but these aren't skinny. So hopefully they'll sell even as a two extra short. If not, they'll go to buy, sell, trade. Oh, these are Adidas. I was a little surprised nobody grabbed these. They're, maybe they're someone's throwback because they were like on the top of a bin. I have no idea what these are worth. They're men's Adidas cargo shorts, but I just figured there'd be some value in them and they're in really good condition. They have the trefoil logo. Oh my god <laughs> sample not for resale that's so funny maybe someone got scared and threw it back well guess who's selling them me i will put like sample piece in there in case anybody cares but that does mean i think there's not a size tag yeah there's no size tag in here so i'll have to figure it out um i have no idea what these are worth but i figured they're worth enough to grab them at the bins especially when you hear like some of my uh profit goals are about five dollars okay this is a santa cruz hoodie and santa cruz is like a skateboarding line as i say that it literally says skateboarding down the sleeve i think it's sold at places like paxton and zoomies and i don't quite know the resale value on this i do think this is something buy sell trade would buy from me my sister wanted me to buy this and so i appeased her she wanted me to actually keep it it is definitely vintage i would say 90s y2k um jane ashley since 1979 it's size large if you know anything about this feel free to leave it in the comments like this was a brand your mom wore or you wore um it is like a i don't know at first i thought it was a kids because it's a size large 
and I was like, that seems like it'd be kids. So I'm gonna take this to buy, sell, trade. Honestly, I don't know why she didn't because she does buy stuff from the bins to go to buy, sell, trade. I just don't think she wanted to risk them not buying it. <laughs> and honestly, I don't think I uh, really have the market for this on Poshmark to sell it if they don't want it from me, but we'll see. Oh my goodness, I have to show you Olive. So these are all the piles I have going and there's my Olive. She decided the piles are not her bed. Look at me, boo. Yep, you're spoiled <laughs> with your uh, clothing on the ground bed. Okay, I probably shouldn't have grabbed this, but it was like one of the first things I found. And if you're like me at the bins, like when you first get there, you just start throwing like potentially good things. I live. Oh my gosh, they wanted $13 for this too. No wonder it didn't sell. You saw, you like, when you start going through the bins, you're like, yeah, I can make money on this because you don't know what kind of day it's going to be. So you just start throwing things in your cart. And so I kept this in there. It is University of Colorado by Champion though. So they did want $13 for this. It is by Champion. Um, the sportswear stuff doesn't sell very well for me. Like, um, college logo stuff doesn't actually sell great for me, but I was like, it's clean and good condition. I can make money. So luckily it is almost back to college or like, you know, like, um, seniors going to freshman year of college, they might be looking for that logo stuff. We'll see. I'll probably just try to move this fast and so maybe like sell it for 15. Look at this doggo. You're just living your best olive life. Thumbnail. <laughs> She's so funny. These are crew cuts. I used to sell crew cuts. If it was like a really substantial piece, I would consider it. Um, these will go to the boutique consignment store and uh, perfect if they're buying for fall, they will probably buy these for fall. These are Carter's three months old. Um, literally so teeny tiny baby. But again, they're basically free. So might as well throw them in and see if I can get 50 cents from Once Upon a Child. I feel like this is J. Crew as well. Oh, it's not, it's Club Monaco. So this is probably one of the, you know, like more expensive better finds of the day. But even though Club Monaco's expensive, I don't like have the best luck selling it. However, this is a jumpsuit and it's tie back. It's a size four. Um, I don't think it's linen, but is it even natural fibers? 19% <laughs> um, linen. When you've been selling for so long, I just like, you know, linen, man. Oh, dang it, my neighbors that I talk to are coming outside. <laughs> okay, so I don't know comps on Club Monaco right now. I would think at least 25 to 30. Oh my gosh, funny story with this. Okay, my sister found this, so I guess this isn't all of my stuff. St. John, and I would say like, you know, best find of the day, St. John at the bins, OMG, but this will probably sell for 30 to $40. Anyway, here it is. It's, I'm assuming silk, blouse, like St. John just, especially for a tank does not, I said blouse, yeah, it's uh, silk. It just doesn't have the best resale value. I was in a bin shopping next to a woman and my sister came over to me and she's like, is this the good one? I was like, oh, yeah, then the woman, like and I look at it and the woman like turns and looks too and I was like lol love so funny I mean I would do that too if I heard someone be like is this a good one and you're like yeah I'd be like what's a good one what did I miss she had a cart full too I was jealous we didn't get a cart we just had uh, our shopping Panera catering totes with us so again like yeah you, like you know you could title the video I found St. John at the bins like like $400 blouse at the bins but like resale value I think I'll sell this for $30 my sister told me not to get this but I can't like I don't I'm not if you didn't know I'm not a fan of kids but their clothes are awesome uh it's like so I mean Ken Jack large extra extra large so it's like one of those things that go around and you wear it like this so great for holidays that's just once upon a child okay so uh <laughs> this is a cool find but not like awesome so this is a pair of free people jeans and correct me if i'm wrong i don't think they make this logo for free people jeans anymore oh these are another things that never got priced like never got put on the floor i guess um they are a size 30 which is nice free people jeans don't sell really well at all for me like they're denim i'm sitting like denim skirts really like anything but these are a bell flare like jean and they're at the bins. If they were a skinny jean, you know, I might've gotten them for Plato's Closet and, but really I would've like jeans don't do well. 
Okay, however, the thing with these is they are dirty on the bottom, which I'm not surprised being a flare bell bottom jean. I will wash them and if it doesn't come out, just disclose it. Okay, I found this and I think it was on the throwback, so hopefully there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I think this is a more recent piece. It is Tracy Reese for Anthropology and they wanted $13 for it. I say, I don't think I would have picked this up at a thrift store. I say I think it's more recent because Tracy Reese has so many tags and I think for Anthropology, it would probably be one of their newer lines, like, you know, putting Anthropology on there. However, it is still somewhat of a dated style to me. Um, I really don't pick up Tracy Reese. The only, like I sold one this year and it was like more of a factor sacking. It was a silk floral print sold at anthropology a long time ago which can be bad but can also be good because some people seek out like vintage anthropology pieces this i don't think is in the same boat as i this i grabbed because it was tracy reese anthropology at the bins and that's about it um hopefully it's not oversaturated because if it's oversaturated i'll probably sit on it forever and sell it for low but hopefully it's not oversaturated and i can sell it for low but quickly it's a size four this will probably go to buy sell trade actually i know this is going to go to buy sell trade because i don't want to sell it <laughs> uh it's tiger mist which used to be sold at nordstrom and i know that because it'd show up at last chance um but it's like a cheapy like fast fashion brand which is sold at nordstrom um it's just not that good i have a bodysuit that i've had listed on poshmark for almost a year with little to no interest so i should probably pull that and take that to buy sell trade too but hopefully I get back to buy, sell, trade in a couple of weeks when they're still buying for summer. Because Crossroads, when I was there, actually had a lot of tiger mist. So uh, this doesn't quite seem like Crossroads style, but I do think it's Buffalo Exchange style. We are wrapping up, I promise. There's like four pieces left. Um, and one of them is this. Disney Baby. Sorry about the airplane. I don't know what makes these Disney baby. I don't know if they were part of a costume and I only have the bottoms because there's no Disney on them. Uh, I'm gonna throw them in my once upon a child pile. I laugh because it's loft and I was just talking about how I can't figure out loft and how to sell it. Um, so this will, I will actually take this to Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange first because they're so weird. Sometimes they buy mall brands like uh, mature mall brands and sometimes they don't. And if not, I will take it to a um, mature women's consignment near me. And if they don't want it, I guess I'll sell it. Boys, Nautica, swim trunks. I'm not going to try to sell these, especially maybe if they were a bigger size, but they're six to nine months. So kids buy, sell, trade. Okay, last find. Uh, my find too, maybe one of my better finds of the day, is this new tag, City Chic Blouse. If you don't know City Chic, it's a plus size brand that is, I'm trying to button the thing, is the brand tag. It's an extra, oh dang it, this one. Okay, so they do like vanity sizing, so it's an extra large in their brand. Um, normally there's a number size on here too. This one is the first one I've ever seen without a number size. So I'll have to look at their size chart. I'm assuming this is like an 18. Um, so City Chic is like sold at Macy's and Nordstrom and they have their own website. So it's, so it's like a mall brand kind of department store brand, I guess. Their dresses do the best. I can usually get $30 or over for the dress. Eh, I'm going to rephrase. I can usually get $25 and over for the dress, depending on the dress. This, because it's new with tags, I hope I can get $25 for it. Um, I'm assuming it's an older style because there's not that number size on there. I can usually find stock photos for City Chic as well because it has a style number. Honestly, it's new tags, uh, but it's a tank top, so this will probably be like $20, maybe $25 if I'm looking. Guys, that was it. An hour and 14 minutes into filming. I'm sure I cut down the video at least a little bit. I showed you everything and it's all over my driveway. Hello, Chic. Olive and I say thank you so much for watching our YouTube video. Thanks for watching it, especially if you stuck around the whole time. I'm not offended if you didn't, but you wouldn't know that because you didn't make it to this part. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. That would help out my channel, as would subscribing if you choose to. That is all from me for today. Bye guys!